One of the new features in version 2010 is the report engine. In this presentation, we will be going over customizing quick reports. There are many new reports that were added to the version 2010 that are customizable. All of those reports are listed here. Just keep in mind that only these reports that are listed are customizable. All of the other reports are using the old system and are not customizable. We're going to go to Accounts Receivable, Reports, Customer Reports. When we click on the lookup, we can see that there are two customer lists available, the Quick System Report and the Comprehensive System Report. Since today's tutorial is on the Quick Reports, we're going to select Quick System and select Accept. And then we can preview that report. As you can see, because it lists the information in column format from left to right, this is a good report that could be exported into Excel. Directly from this screen, you have an option to export the report to Excel. You can create a PDF document. You can print this report from this screen. And you can email this report. I'm going to select Customize to bring up the wizard. You can see that there is an Add Table button and a Remove Table button. These options are only available if you have Custom Office. Otherwise, you're limited to adding fields only available from the existing tables. As you can see, this report has the AR Customer table available. If we click on the plus sign next to AR Customer, we will see all the fields that are available in that table. We also have Preview and Styles buttons on this screen. If we select Preview, we can preview the report and notice that it looks like the font is in a Times New Roman. If we select Styles, we can change the style of our report. It is currently on default, so I'm going to select Compact, say OK, and then Preview. Now we can see that the font seems to have changed to a more compact, different font. The Styles option is also where you can select Landscape or Portrait, and you can select to adjust the field widths. If you select to adjust the field widths, this will compact the fields so that they will show on a single page. Otherwise, the fields will go off the page and may not show. The more fields that you choose, the less presentable your report may become. This option is good for exporting to Excel, but if the layout needs more fields or needs to be changed, you may need to use the comprehensive reports. We can also change the order of the selected fields. The order that these fields are in is the order that it will be from left to right when you create your report. Now if you want them to appear in a different order, you can just highlight the field that you want to move and you can move it up in the selection or you can move it down in the selection. Now I'm going to add another table to this report. If I select the Add Table option, I can only select tables that can be linked with the AR Customer table. I'm going to add the OE Invoice table. It now brings the OE Invoice table into my list. If I select Add Table again, I can choose tables that can be linked with the AR Customer table, or I can choose tables that can be linked with the OE Invoice table. We're going to add the OE Line Item table to this report. Now I'm going to expand the OE Line Item table and add the ID field to the report. Notice that the aliasing screen comes up. This is because now there are two fields in the report titled ID. The system needs to be able to tell them apart, so it suggests a rename. We're going to click OK, and notice that now we have AR Customer underscore ID and OE Line Item underscore ID in our list. We're also going to add ship quantity to our report. We're going to add one more table to this report, and we want something that links with the OE line item table. 
and we're going to select the IC part table. I'm going to add part cost to our report. Notice that we have just made our way through the database from accounts receivable to order entry to inventory control, gathering fields from the different modules to include on our report. Now that we have selected all of the fields that we want on our report, we're going to select Next. This is where we can select filters for our report. We can now add an unlimited number of filters to the report based on any table or any field associated with this report. We're going to click Next, and this is the sort criteria. We can now add an unlimited number of sorts to this report. The sorts must be based on fields that are in the report. Now that we've selected our filters and our sorts, we can go ahead and select Finish. This will bring us back to the main page. We're going to go ahead and select Save so that we can save our changes with a new report name. You can also select filters on this main screen for your report before printing or previewing as well. These filters are based on the type of report that you're printing. For this report, we can filter by customer ID, maybe a specific customer or a specific range of customers. We can also filter by customer categories and by sales reps. Now we can preview that report and see all of the changes that we made. As you can see, the more fields that we added, the messier our report may become. Thank you for viewing our presentation on customizing Quick Reports. You can watch us on Facebook for video 4 of the series What's New in Sage BusinessWorks 2010. You can visit www.sageu.com businessworks for real-time Tech Thursday courses on the new reporting system. You can also visit www.sagebusinessworks.com slash client care for information on our updated client care plans.